The U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory successfully flew an XQ-58A Valkyrie aircraft piloted entirely by AI. The three-hour flight took place on July 25 at Eglin Air Force Base, marking a major step forward for autonomous military aviation. The XQ-58 Valkyrie, a low-cost, high-performance, stealthy unmanned combat aerial vehicle, has been at Eglin for a little less than a year. They honed the AI during millions of hours in high-fidelity simulation events, sorties on the X-62 Vista, hardware-in-the-loop events with the XQ-58A, and ground test operations. It is not just an accomplishment for the AFRL, but a clear signal of the direction that modern aviation and warfare are heading. This technology builds on AFRL's Skyborg Vanguard program for autonomous unmanned wingmen that began two years ago. It has potential applications for combined joint all-domain command and control initiatives, enhancing information sharing and decision-making. The successful test flight opens the door for continued maturation of AI piloting skills applicable to both air-to-air -air and air-to-surface operations. With adversaries like China and Russia also pursuing autonomous military tech, this demonstration also ushers in a new era of warfare that is poised to challenge traditional paradigms. AI's continued integration into military operations raises serious ethical and strategic questions that societies worldwide will need to grapple with. As AI systems become more prevalent in warfare, decisions once made by humans, often in split seconds and under extreme duress, will be delegated to algorithms. Ensuring these AI agents adhere to the rules of engagement and international law, while also effectively distinguishing between combatants and civilians, will be of utmost importance. Moreover, the rise of autonomous warfare could potentially exacerbate geopolitical tensions and lead to an AI arms race, as nations scramble to leverage the technology to gain military superiority. While AI-piloted aircraft like the XQ-58 Valkyrie could improve operational efficiency and decision-making speed, they could also erode traditional checks and balances on the use of force. While the AFRL should be commended on this impressive technical achievement, this should also serve as a stark reminder of the complex implications of AI integration in warfare. It highlights the pressing need for robust international discourse and regulation to address the ethical, legal, and strategic challenges that AI-powered warfare presents.